Welcome, in front of me is a Lenovo Tab P12 and today I'll show you how you can record the screen on this device. So to get started you'll want to swipe down from the top right side of your screen and then here you'll find a bunch of different toggles. Now you're looking for the screen recording toggle, you can swipe down in this area to extend the list which will also show you the names for these toggles. Now let's find it, oh there we go, there's the screen recording toggle, you want to click on it. This shows up here with this pop-up and we have the settings option, we have the record and the close. Under settings we have a quick little setup, so we have ultra, HD resolution, HD resolution, normal resolution, I love how stupidly described this is, uh, each one of them has a numeric value to it, so it would be nice if I could actually see that, because what the hell is a normal resolution? Uh, and uh, also, what's the difference between HD resolution and ultra HD resolution? Because what typically is called ultra resolution is when you have a, a unconventional aspect ratio on your device. So you have a 1080p, uh, but it's for instance like 21 by 9, kind of like uh, Sony has it. So Sony could name theirs uh, with this kind of logic ultra HD resolution, just because it's 1080p, but because it's wi like wider. It has a little bit more pixels, so that's where the Ultra comes in. So, it, these two should be the same exact thing. Uh, anyway, uh, besides that we also have the uh, sound source, so we have no sound, uh, equipment sound, which I presume refers to the tablet itself, microphone, or both. If you're planning to use both, to use headphones for that. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna select save right here, and I'm gonna click on the record button. Shows you a timer right here. So whatever you'll do right now will be recorded by the device. Now let's see if we have Netflix on here, as I always like to crap on Netflix for uh, for the garbage design, but it looks like it's not here. Okay. So instead, I'm just gonna open up any kind of normal application that actually works, unlike Netflix. just fiddling through here so there's something to show. Anyway, uh, once you're done you can click right here to stop the recording which will get saved to your photos application. Come on. Oh, there we go. It finally showed up. So we can see it right here. It's already playing back. Now it is uh, located in the screen uh, recorder folder, which you can see right here the title of it. Uh, later on it might be easier for you to actually find your screen recordings if you're looking for them like later on, weeks, months later, by just navigating to this album which you can select uh, or open it up by clicking on the actual text and this will take you to the album itself. So I just click on it and now we can view the recording. Now one thing that you might experience which I wanted to show with Netflix was uh, the uh, screen recording kind of like blocking feature of Android. Uh, it's done for privacy and security uh, of the user and it's primarily most useful in bank applications. As if you were, were to have some kind of virus on your device that were to see the screen and then just send that information somewhere else without your permission or knowledge, uh, obviously people could gain access to your banks and stuff like that. So in such a case uh, what happens is the any kind of app that tries to see this gets a straight up black screen. Uh, and can't see anything. But it's also being used by applications out of zero business using it, like Netflix. And furthermore, it's being used without any kind of permission or question or anything like that. You might not be signed into Netflix, you might not have uh, downloaded it yourself because it came preloaded, uh, you haven't agreed to terms of service of Netflix, nor have you given it any permission in the app to do so, and it's just gonna block it anyway without uh, even asking you a question or giving you the option, as there is no option to change. If an app uses it, that's it, you're shit out of luck. So, with that being said, hopefully you found this video helpful, and if you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.